What's up, guys? I'm Tyler with Whatever Blows Your Hair Back, and we are here with Season 1, Episode 2 of Unleash the Inner Beast. As always, we got Ivan, I call him Ivan, with us tonight, and we got Luke with LMH, and these guys are both with us tonight, and we're going to give you a diagnosis on what we think about our main man, Elon Musk, is saying out there, telling all those people, fuck you and fuck this, and I was like, because that's our style. Yourself. Yeah. What do you got to say about it? Go fuck yourself. I believe in that message. It's a strong message. You can't control me. Go fuck yourself. Let's bring that up. Bring that up right now. And obviously, you know that there's a public perception that, and and you're clarifying this now, um, but there's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour, if you will. That That this had been said online. There was all of the criticism. There was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger today. I hope they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f- yourself. But go f- yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I, I hope it is. Luke, t- explain to us. What have you seen in the Elon Musk thing about today, about all the shit he was talking and how it relates to us? The big quote was, go fuck yourself. And he was saying that to the people that pulled their advertising money from Twitter in response to some stupid shit he said on his social media. Um, basically that, you know, he, he has the right to free speech. You're not going to be able to control him talking to with me. some media advertising money. So, and he kind of reminded me of you. He kind of says the ugly truth about advertising. Come out telling you or telling us about the ugly truth about boxing in a recent video that I saw. On Do you YouTube. think it pissed people off that Elon Musk said "fuck you"? Who are the people that felt the "fuck you" from Elon Musk? I love that he did it, but who are the people who were disgruntled? I'd say the left. Ivan? I feel the like the left, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. So what about which? Wh- give me wh- what guy from the left? Give me give me a I face feel, painted in you that's hated. Well, give me give me. I feel like the face. love because it's like. Go Who in the left? Who in the left? The left's too broad. The blue-haired people, man. <laughs> I'll take it. Take it. That's real. If you got blue hair. If you got blue hair, you just can't be here. Yeah. Oh, no about you. Blue shirts only. Blue shirts blue only. Blue shirts are cool. But, man, yeah. if I see someone with blue hair, it's like, whew, we ain't going to go there. So, anyway, let's dig a little deeper into the message. Come on, guys. We all watched it, right? What's, what's Elon really trying to punch home besides hating the left? I feel like it's more of just don't be a sellout. Especially after money, you know, he thought he was going to be quiet. He thought he was going to be controlled by money. Clearly, he wasn't. And you know, you, you said it was Tyler right there. I also thought the same exact thing. <laughs> when I, when we saw the law. ugly truth. Does not give any fuck. So he must yeah. have did so to get someone to say fuck you. You must really piss them off, and you do, they somehow don't even think it's impact. Because what really gets me upset is, I don't think the people that the, that I was upset about even understood why yeah. I was upset. So I think. Them people might not understand if that's the message to him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, yeah, and he tried yeah. to, he made it. The blue hairs ain't like, they're he, talking to me. They, no, no. The reporter actually looked shocked for a second, and then he yeah. reset it. Do I make my, go fuck yourself. Do I make myself clear? He says, Bob, I hope you're listening, which is, he's like the president of the conglomerate that owns Disney and all those that pulled their advertising money. So, oh, so so that's a one to face. So Disney's one Bob of them who Iger pulled their the, advertising. guy that he specifically addressed. So so what he he's addressing is like, I don't need your money. Fuck you, by the way. Yeah. And you're trying to make an example with your money that I would need it to go pursue onto something. To pursue a SpaceX program. To, to pursue the SpaceX program. Maybe there's some more to it. And Elon's pretty much saying, fuck you publicly, because that's the most he could probably do to that man. Because that man's probably got a lot of money and motivation. He's got the whole world watching. He's got the whole world watching. I I tuned into that shit, and I tuned into that shit. Yeah, me too. It came (laughs) out. He shook heads. I definitely think that. Oh, I thought it was an old, like, I'm like, I thought AI made it. I was like, this is an AI. I I didn't even know the reporter first off. I thought it was one of those cases where, like, Donald Trump got arrested, and he's, like, out here battling all the police people. I thought it would be that kind of thing. That's what I thought it was, too. It wasn't. And I thought it was, like, who's this? And the reporter did hats off the reporter when... To follow up with what he kept saying, fuck you, fuck. This guy's like, what the fuck? 
It's like, what the f- And he followed up. It's like, what, so what you're saying is, he was like kind of breaking it down and he's and mad at it. And he's just like, kind of fuck. like a robot up yeah. there. He talks and spurts. It's- well, he's not the best, you know, I don't mean this in the least derogative way or negative way. He's not the best public speaker. It looked past, I mean, let's talk about like a, He's Obama was a good he's public like, speaker. Obama's charismatic. He's charismatic. He's articulate yeah, very and he charismatic. elevates. Mm, so exactly. there's a stuttering. So Elon kind of stutter. He's got something to say. He can't get yeah, it out. Exactly. It's not if, ands, and buts or however. So because, I appreciate that. Because his mind is just going 100 miles yeah, per hour the whole time. Though. It feels raw and so the, real. It's and raw. Like look what happens with doctors, though. He's digging for it. It's sloppy as hell, but but their mind is going way He knows what to say. It's just not coming out as clean. You know, it's like, all right, there's greatness coming out. It's coming real distorted and chopped yeah it does it is it can is. you show the scene hey diago can you show the scene that we're talking about like when we talk about like when he's trying to explain when he asks and so under people understand what i'm trying to to try to say if you believe that this is the one part of your business where you will be beholden to those who uh have this view G- what do you do f y I, I understand that, but there's a reality too, <laughs> right? Yes. No. No. I, I mean, Linda no, Yaccarino's right here, and she's got to sell advertising. I, I, absolutely. So, um, no. No. Totally. So. So. No. No. Actually, what what this advertising boycott is uh, is is going to do? It's it's going to kill the company. And do you think that the company- I, I, but, and the whole world, will know that those advertisers killed the company and we will document it in great detail. Like a threat to him in a way to Bob, like saying, hey, if you do that, the whole world's going to hate no, you. He's just saying that he doesn't care. He's, he'll let Twitter, SpaceX crash and burn and everyone will know it was their fault for doing that, for pulling their advertising because it was based on the advertising money. Gotcha. And he so says, at the end of the day, I will still say, go fuck yourself. I don't care. The company can fail. Go fuck yourself. Bob. Bobby. <laughs> how does go fuck yourself have to do with boxing i feel like it's so interesting because all of us i feel had a moment in life where we had the opportunity to sell out and we didn't tyler what moment did you feel where you could have sold out yet you didn't something that actually would matter in a pr situation in a public uh you know the the show the show is called like shark tank and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I've had like five of those reach out to me with Chicago Fabrications. And one of my good friends that owns uh, Hangout Lighting, Jennifer, she went on it. Shout out so, Jen. Yeah, shout out Jen from Hangout Lighting, Chicago Fabs, way back. She actually went on it and went through the process and partnered up with, I think it was a Cuban or Mark Cuban that yeah, ran that. Was Shark Tank guy. She was on, yeah, she was on it. Uh, one of those shows, I don't know if it was Shark Tank, but anyway, I denied that. I, I they called me and asked me like two times and I started going, what do I get out of it? And they said, I'm the first person to ever deny on something on national te- television, how I'm going to benefit. I goes, you guys are going to put me on there make me look like a clown, pull some emotions out of me out of context and make me look like a clown. And Jennifer didn't even gain a monetary value from it. It stressed her out. And you guys put weird snippets of her online. That's out of character. Whoa. And I said that and they were pretty much hung the phone up on me. But that was a straight up opportunity. They laughed at me like, wow, dude, we we're going to put you on TV. You're the first person to smack us in the face off that. Free advertising. So I guess, if, is that what you're Just asking? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself right there. Well, it goes back to me yeah. as my core values, my integrity. Like, it's like, well, I understand what you're trying to, I understand your angle. And you're not going to take 20% of my company and make me look like an asshole. And uh, that's. That's the end of that. The yeah. end. And that was an opportunity. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, that was an opportunity that I uh, I passed up. Yeah. Could have, could have, should have, would have got me maybe some more publicity on national television. <clears throat> I feel like life, especially as a man, you always need to live towards up your your values. Yeah. Too many people don't do yeah. that, and that's I can But is that what Elon's talking about? Is uh, that Bob passed up on core values, or is it the stream fact that he's trying to? wiggle more money out of him as in so much of ext- how does he look at it? blackmail extortion however not you know however you want to look at it and that's how he's relaying it as but it, is that really what he's doing or is he just trying to pr- prove a point the same way Elon's trying to prove a point right now in that message of fuck you well he's built up on feelings what about bob's feelings if you talk about feelings obviously we swing on yeah. the other side with elon 
But that's yeah. what started it. Obviously, he must feel some type of way. You got to see it from the other person's shoes to really ha- develop opinion. So there's two pissed off people. Why is he pissed off enough to t- cut his money? And then it pissed him off so much. So really, he relies on Is Eli so mad that he is relying on that yeah. money? And now he ain't got it. And so he's disgruntled. So that was his point to make to him saying, hey, you can't do all if you want to take our narrative away and don't help us. We're not going to help you by doing ad spend with you. And we're taking that elsewhere. And now Elon hit a little repercussion on that. And so you got to look at both narratives to see the business side of it. I mean, hell yeah, I'm both on the right. I'm, I'm with Elon. Like I'm, I'm, I'm all his views. But he well, is a little butt hurt right now. Yeah. You no, know, it's because Bob Iger, I think, is Jewish or like any the re- large part of the conglomerate he represents is Jewish, and it was anti-Semitic. Sure, it was still feelings. So why did yeah. I say fuck you to all the people I said fuck you to in the boxing community? Because I felt like they owed me a little love, and they didn't, and it, and it was my feelings. They showed you no love. Dog. Yeah, and so that was my feeling. So I rebuttal the same. Fuck you. It's fuck a cold you, world in you. Chicago boxing. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> I say free away. Yeah, it's like the more you give. Oh, we gotta the, give a shout out to. I don't know if everyone's watched our video on the whatever blows your hair back channel, but uh, you guys gotta tune in and see what we're talking about. You know, it's like I, I tell some people to fuck off because I feel the same way as kind of Elon and a, and a, the same feeling difference, different industries obviously, but it's the same idea. It's like ha, here's here's my logic on the why you tell someone fuck off. Because if you don't and you remain silent, there's going to be a flat line, stagnant line, and line. And what people like is a consistent flat line of a controlled feeling. So when you get an outlier like myself and there's this flat line and there's no solution. There's, yeah, there's no solution. <laughs> if there's no solution, there's no adventure or, or answer, right? So I come up with the fuck you and it, what it does is distorts the flat line and when it leaves an adventure. And when, when there's adventure, it's... It's because you don't know what's about to happen. Because in any adventure, you're going off to seek something. And that comment's going to bring you off to something that you can't control. And that's the idea of most people don't want to lose control of what they say. And that's the power behind that, to be able to back up the adventure that's coming from that comment. Does that make sense, boys? Yeah, Yeah. and I will go ahead and say firsthand, as Tyler does, provide that excitement in our lives here <laughs> at studio we come in every day i have a, you know my days i run the same clients do the same grind their asses out and then i come here i don't know what the fuck's gonna happen it spikes my day it's excitement it's every a roller time. coaster of it's emotions an adventure yeah. here at the whatever blows your hair back studio every fucking time we're here well yeah you guys know my, my day i run in chicago fabrications i told uh, like three concrete company to fuck off i went in i gave that man a bad review on his business Called the franchise CEO text. I went and screenshotted it, wrote it, went on my like Facebook, it. went on LinkedIn, because oh. they were doing me dirty on a twenty thousand dollars. Just a quick example why I go to the fuck you row, and they just ghosted me. And so the only power I had left was to go attack them on social media, because they don't want anything to say bad about. It. So I went and took pictures of their floor. Three minutes later, that man was driving to drop me off a check. Ooh. And it fucking worked. It's like it fucking worked. Another one, another construction job. Like three months goes by, pain. I get, I tell him, fuck you to the CEO of the company. I tell him the same thing. Sorry, Rick, you're a fucking dick. Sorry, Rick. And Sorry, here's why. Rick. Rick. You're God a damn, fucking dick. <laughs> and anyways, I had a I had a hundred thousand dollar check Ooh. the next day, or if, I'm pretty sure it was three hours later, and. As much as people want to call me an asshole, I get results within the hour of real money coming through because no one wants to be treated like that, and they know I'm crazy enough to take it to the next level. Amen. And that is yeah. kind of what Elon Musk is displaying right there. I'm crazy enough to display this shit, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to know I fucking hate you. Yeah, he showed his own gangster, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he showed his own gangster, he yeah. Did. Yeah, and it's just like that's, he, that's the only power he's got left. Yeah, It's exactly. the power of insult on national television or a real review on Google, live review of how he feels. And then now Bob's like, the PR team, how are we going to get back on this? Or like, how are we going to squash this beef? Well, and people now are siding up. The people are like picking sides for, you know, whatever reason. You know how the game And then goes. it creates a conflict. And then it gave us content to talk about. And I know that people care about what three boxers of points of view are on this political stand. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm yeah, you will politician. care because we are business. <laughs> They don't even know it. I am a businessman from hell. Luke owns his own company, and Ivan basically runs 
with his dad's company. So we're all independent contractors of a sort over here that know what it's like to run companies. No, and it's funny because we're talking about yourself. I'm joking. <laughs> it's like, bro, all right. Like, Diago? Diago. I was Diago's over there like, Wrap up the story. Goddamn, Tyler. <laughs> hey, what are we at? We at our 30-minute mark yet, Diago? I was just Damn, we got five more minutes. We got five, five more minutes. minutes to away in people's time. I was going right? to tell you a story about well, how Well, if your monotone ass to would talk out. with lifts and lows. <laughs> Ups and downs and downs and ups. There you go. Is that exciting. better for Give us an you? exciting story, not a hey. The story was a. All right, dude. There well, we there go. was this fucking time when I used to work for a big gym, Lifetime Fitness, right? Oh, okay. And coming back from the pandemic, I had already kind of sidetracked in my own business because the fucking gym was closed during the pandemic. So I started training people on my own, oh, that which was the original it. formation of LMH Fitness. Oh. <clears throat> and then I went back when they reopened, right? And then I realized, you know, I want to go on my own. So I put in my two weeks because I was, you know, they don't need to give them half my money. And the boss there, he's trying to basically say that I won't be able to make it on my own. That I need lifetimes advertising. Trying to scare, scare their pros. Net, they're scared. They, they the need, network you need of, to back you. Don. Yeah, the network of people scared. that are coming through there is the only reason that I was successful. Yes. It wasn't because of my training ability or my charismatic yes. personality. It was because lifetimes turn fucking 10,000 base take the membership. Lead. And I said, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I served out my two weeks. So that's how my father raised me to be. That's fair. And you know that you're right. You should, thing. though, because that's negotiated. But that's what you said after that meeting, I was not really giving him the fucking time of day and no one kind of, I, you know you try I, to say that my success is because of you that's good that you held your, your department's like success is because of fucking me didn't you run into that down the road later at another gym we won't go into big detail but it's a similar thing you learn well you, this is when you went off on your own and then you went to a gym and you were paying rent yeah. and you realized there is a little bit more overhead maybe i need to cut that out yeah. And then we kind of seen you come kind of yeah, evolution, over here. baby. You always got to evolve. You got to bob and weave. So you did feel it a little bit. As a business owner, I've had people leave me and go on their own. And I never gave them a scare, a pro, uh, scare tactic like that. But I do kind of like, and don't use any of my stuff that I've built to push it. If I'm depending on the relationship. So I've kind of been in kind of on both sides of that. But I always appreciate the person going off on their own as an entrepreneur. And so I always let people off on their own. That's what do you got to say about the Ivan? I mean... That, you said an interesting point right there. Sometimes you just got to let them go. Yeah. Let them go. You know, on because fly, the more you them. grasp on that, yeah. man, that's uh, even worse. Nah, it's like it burns you. Know you know they right don't the want to be there at that point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It just stresses out your soul trying to control another motherfucker. Got exactly. It. You got to let the birds go fly, baby. Exactly. But here's the thing. Tyler lives out of an abundance mindset, uh, which is why uh, he's able to let these people go. It's abundance. You know? I feel like we are in abundance at the studio. Yeah. Crazy everywhere. All this fucking energy. Knowledge. We got a little energy. Politics. Sometimes it's we got a bunch yeah. of fucking everything now. Everything. At first it was get... just boxing and bullshitting with a bunch of dudes who were pretty good at boxing, and now it's become this whole fucking talk show. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? I really enjoy this, and I enjoy telling the people our point of views. Maybe they don't enjoy listen to it, but they will soon. One day. Someday. And... Maybe today. Maybe today's the day you start fucking listening to this greatness. I don't know. Today's the day, and well, that's enough. We're going to uh, sign out of here today. Um, Tyler, with whatever blows your hair back, this is Season 1, Episode 2 of the Blue Man Group and the Blue Shirts of the Whatever Blows Your Hair Back. we got Ivan here to my left, Luke over here to our right, and we are the boxing team of Chicago. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the fittest, follow, the most and if handsome. you comment, I will read it. And next week, when we podcast, <laughs> he will either troll Tuesday, the fuck out of you. It's going to be Thursday, actually. Next Thursday, tune in. I'm going to go over everybody's comments, what they're talking about. We're going to give you a shout out. And then we want to relate with our viewers. Yeah, we want to know you, whoever watching. You just might so be on three. Your hey, we want friends on YouTube. Be our friend. And if you're a boxer, that's even a plus. But if not, and you just love the box community, you get at us. Signing out of here live. Tyler with whatever blows your hair back, baby. That was beautiful. And the drone flies over. I'm Tyler with whatever blows your hair back from Chicago. Brings the coolest boxing video.